Hi guys, welcome. And today I have for you my mother-in-law's amazing curry potato or curry alu recipe, Trini style. So stick around and enjoy this dish as you cook with us. So I used some yellow potatoes which have already been peeled and quartered. With a heavy and wide cast iron pot on low heat, add two tablespoons or one pot spoon of vegetable oil. And so here we have one onion, half cloves of garlic, three pimento and some curry The onion is sliced. So one teaspoon of oil. Let it fry for a few seconds and now we're gonna add some milk. So half a teaspoon of milk. And curry leaf. Our curry leaves. Now the curry leaves is what gives it this flavor. And we're gonna move the onion and then one, one onion slice. Once you've added your pimento, stir and continue frying on low heat for about 30 seconds. Now add about 4 to 5 cloves of chopped garlic and continue cooking on low heat. If you have a fire stove, it's on low heat, and if you have an electric stove, anywhere around 4.0 to 5.0. And you're going to be cooking on this low heat for the entire process. You cook all these seeds in the uh, pimento. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I didn't burn the um, durand in too much and the, the milky, so when you just cook in, that will get its color you want it to get. And you put in the milky after the jura because milky is burn quick and when you burn it is bitter. I like to say low and slow, right? Five for the whole time. Yeah. Now add one tablespoon of turmeric powder. I'm going to put that tablespoon on this. That should be good. Now we're going to cook this turmeric powder for about a minute or so. And I'll fry you know, some of the, um, the strong taste from this bowl. Fry it. People well, just put water to cook their curry, but I already have it in high heat, right? So if you cook it in low, low heat and you keep turning it, you don't want to water in it to cook your curry, you know. You know that. But think about it, look. Just to show you quantity-wise, we have like a colander full of uh, potato. Okay, so now we are going to make the curry paste. For this amount of potatoes, you can use either two teaspoons or one tablespoon of curry powder. I like using the cheap brand product. That's enough. We have two, right? Just add a little bit of water and stir to combine. As you can see, we just used turmeric and curry powder so as to keep the yellow color. We don't use garam masala, anchar masala, or jeer powder for this recipe. So once you've made your curry paste, go ahead and add it to your pot and stir to combine everything. You're still cooking on low heat. Now we are adding 2 teaspoons or 1 tablespoon of homemade green seasoning. Please see the link above or in the description below on how I make my true thin style green seasoning. It's basically blended thai, celery, shadow berry, pimento, garlic, parsley and thyme. If you don't have green seasoning, you can just add chopped or blended thai and shadow berry towards the end of cooking.
Ini bakal buat efek kopi saya. Ciro pun tam, tak masalah ni ada. No, 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 no. Ciro kau dah dia nak ini? No, no, no. Macam tu orang tidur desa tu, desa tu macam mana? No, fresh ada bani, betul? No, no. Yes, yes, season ha, ada bani, no? Mhm. Ini orang dua lagi black tu tu, no? Hm. Ada satu dua lagi tu 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 black. Karena black, tak sih kalau mana cukup naji. Det er ikke for bygge her lidt. Så jeg koker en curry mixture og lå hit, indtil all the water har dried up. In a few seconds, I'll show you how to check to see if all the water har dried up. Nu kan jeg bare få det på den ting, jeg synes. Yes, I'll add salt now or when you add the potato? When you add the potato, I'll add the salt. When you do it like this, you see no water on you. You see oil floating, that means the water burn out of this. Water gone. Oh. So we can throw in the potato now. Now it's not any good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't season it, season it so? No, this is potato we're cooking, we are frying. Is it color good? No, we don't color. And we have like yellow potato, not so we have. I know that it will get black. Then I'll put it in a little bit of salt and then the water. So I'll put it right down there a little bit again and put the tomatoes in here. Do you put the tomatoes? Yeah. Right. And when do you add the salt? When do you add the water? So we're peeling the tomatoes here. And the way to peel the tomatoes to get it easily done, you make some mark in the potato. In the oven. Tomato. Tomato. And put it in. Hot water, boiling water. We didn't have no boiling water here. We just had some hot water. We want some boiling water for it. And the skin will come out as easy as that. Okay, like so. The water wasn't hot enough. Like this. Okay, that's it. Once you have removed the skin, slice and remove the seeds. Take out the seeds from it. Uh -oh. Put the juice, put it in the pot like this. Once you have removed all the seeds, slice into smaller pieces. Now go ahead and add the tomatoes to your pot and give it a good stir. You don't have to do it if they want to do it, so I just have it again, you know. So I go to this. We added between one teaspoon to one tablespoon of salt. Now 
Add your salt. We didn't add the water yet, so we just add any salt now. Yeah, and then you will adjust the salt. Yeah, it could always taste a little bit to the end. And that's it. We don't want nothing else in here besides water. And let it cook low. For how long? Okay. It's cooking for close, so let me give it for 45 minutes. You cover the pot or don't cover it? You can cover the pot, you can don't cover the pot, but I think I'll cover the pot today. I'll cover it. And, it and hot water, right? And hot water, we're going to put in there. All that means now is hot water and it's good to go. We're going to put it in the water. Yeah, so now we add any hot water and uh, we want it to cover the potatoes. So it will cook. And we're cooking this on low heat. So now we're going to cover the pot and let it cook on low heat for 45 minutes. This is after half an hour. Okay, so it's been cooking almost for 40 minutes. We're just going to add some salt. We're just going to add salt here. Taste salt. Taste. I think that should be good. Nice color, yeah. So after 45 minutes, it's basically finished. Okay. We're just gonna break up a few thickened sauce. And take off the fire. That the war breaker go get the stick. Right, okay? Yeah. 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 You can enjoy with some hot dal cream, roti, butter cut. Yeah. Very good, very good. So guys, that's my mother-in-law's curried potato recipe. Let me know how it was and until next time, take care. Bye now. Oh yeah, and feel free to check out my many more Indian style recipes to go with this dish.